In our city council meeting, we enjoyed a presentation by Peachtree City citizen Keith Larson, who partnered with AARP and engaged uh, a big group of community volunteers from Summerby to focus on an accessible trail marking project. And I think it's in six locations throughout Peachtree City. They have now placed special markers to mark accessible paths so those who need it know where they can go and they have a lot of options on our paths. So in our city council meeting, we approved, I think it was $387,000 for a SWAT vehicle for our Peachtree City Police Department. This item was on the SPLOST list that our voters approved in March of 2023. It is very much needed. Now our police department will be equipped with what they need when they need it in the case of extreme emergencies. I am so excited about Peachtree City's 4th of July celebration this year. No doubt it was better than ever. We had record participation in the parade in the morning. We had record crowds in attendance and we had just the most spectacular fireworks show. Peachtree City turned out once again. I think everybody involved showed a tremendous sense of community pride. We have a few awards that we gave out at our city council meeting, and I have to read this, but I definitely want to call out everybody by name. The Grand Marshal Trophy went to A Better Way. The Mayor's Trophy went to the Peachtree City School of Dance. The Most Creative went to the Flying Squirrel, a brand new business in Peachtree City. Most Patriotic went to the Peachtree City Water and Sewer Authority. First place golf cart went to Brian Cole. Second place golf cart went to Yasuhisha Matsushita. And third place golf cart went to Board and Brush. Congratulations to everybody. It was a great effort.